Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. As you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we're building Tommy's house today. So Tommy's house will be split into two parts. Even though it's just a dirt hut, there's a lot to it. Basically, this tutorial covers everything that's inside the fenced off area within Tommy's land. So you have the dirt hut, you have the wheat farm, ninja's house, the cuck shed, that weird fountain up there, power tower, the underground power tower room, all of Tommy's interior, little side rooms, his underground storage and underground farm. I have a Discord server. I'd really appreciate it if you join the Discord server. That's usually when I announce when new videos are going up and I'm going live on Twitch. So if you don't want to miss any of those, I'd recommend joining the Discord. Let's hop over to the tutorial world. All right, and welcome back to the tutorial world, which does not have that much stuff in this area. So there's a lot of terraforming, which basically just means moving around the grass and stuff to make it look right. So just stick with me. This will be a bit of a not traditional tutorial compared to other tutorials we've done, but just do your best to try and follow every single block. And you know what? If one grass block is wrong, who's going to notice? Me, I will notice. So over here, you should already have the prime path going through this area. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to get rid of some, uh, a few more of the trees around this area. So I have a tree sort of stuck around here. If you're wondering why your leaves aren't decaying that fast, you can do this if you're uh, in cheats, but obviously if you're doing it in survival, you won't be able to do this. But you basically can do slash game rule, random tick speed, and then I usually set it to about 100 or 200. Uh, but don't go much higher than that because then your game starts lagging a little bit. And also, I want to make sure you're in the right spot. So... On this part of the prime path, right after you come up these steps right here, which is onto Tommy's land, when you're standing on this middle block, and I open up the coordinates, you should be on 250, negative 608. Make sure this coordinate is right. If this is wrong, it's going to mess up all of Tommy's house and everything in this area. So make sure you're in the right spot before we even start. So looking at the prime path right here, at the left block right here, we're going to place seven fences going to the left. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, and don't worry that it's, uh, sort of floating right now, we'll fix that. Then we're gonna go down one and add three more to the left, one, two, three, so it's a total of four long. Then we're gonna go back one and add two more next to that, like this. Then we're gonna turn this way and add two more right here. Now we're also gonna do a little bit of the train as we go, so get out your grass blocks. We're gonna add grass blocks underneath both of these right here, knock out these two and this one right here. Then on the next layer down, we're gonna knock out this one, these two, these three, and this one right here. We're gonna add a block right here and add three underneath this and one right there but this fence is still floating and we can get rid of this right here next row down we're actually gonna get rid of these two grass blocks right here and five of these right here and then the little bits of grass right there we can get rid of before we continue the fence i'm actually gonna get rid of this tree right here because it's going to get in the way and you can also get rid of this birch tree if you want so right here we're gonna go back one and this is one of ten so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten perfect now what we can do is we can add grass blocks underneath all of these so right here, we're going to have to remove a little bit of ground right here. So where we have this one right here, we're actually going to knock out all of these right here. And this whole section of land, we're going to chop out and flatten on this side. Believe that side how it is. There we go. Perfect. Now the fence right here, we're going to go back one and over one for a total of four times. That's one, two, three, four. And the fifth one, we're going to go back and make this total of five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. After this fifth one, we're actually going to break out the ground right here and put one fence down. And it should be a total of seven long. So that's one, two, three, four four, five, six, seven. So you actually have to break out the ground as you go with this one. Then we're going to go ahead and come forward for one and add two more next to it. So it's a total of three long and then add one right here. I'm going to go ahead and break out this tree because it'll be in the way. Now I'm actually going to get out some grass. We're going to do a little bit of terraforming. We're going to knock out the, the, the ones behind this and this whole row. We're actually going to knock out two blocks behind all of these right here. Perfect. And then you'll have this shape right here. We're going to knock out these two Add a row of grass along this edge of the path right here. And where we have these two sticking out, we're going to put two grass blocks next to it like this. Connect that spot right there and fill in that spot right there. And that's actually what the ground looks like right there. Now, this spot right here is the famous bench spot, which looks out onto this beautiful view with the sun going down. We have this grass block right here. We're going to add six more to make it a total of seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then it'll go back for one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, like that, and then there'll be these three perfect, and we can actually break out this grass block right here, and fill in this gap right here. Go ahead and grab yourself a jukebox, slap a jukebox right there in that corner, we're going to skip four right here, place an inner chest facing this direction, now we're going to get our stairs out, and you already know it's coming up, in this spot right here, we're going to go to the third one, place one like this, place one, two, three stairs, and then the other one, face it this way, so that is the famous bench that you see Tommy and Tubbo sitting on after every single war, pretty cool. Alright, moving along right here, we're going to place a fence diagonal to the bench right here. We're going to skip to the third one right here, and then go back one and place a fence right there. Skip one and place a fence right there. And that actually perfectly lines up with that spot right there, and that's it. There's there's a bunch of fences missing in this one spot. Alright, on this side, we're going to fix a little bit of the train. We're going to knock out this block right here. We're going to add two blocks right here. Knock out these three and this one right there. And we'll go ahead and call that section good. So we're going to grab our fences and we need to dig out uh, quite a bit of land right here. And before we even dig out this land, I'm going to go ahead and break out uh, some of the trees just directly on top of 
the spot where Tommy's house is going to go because there shouldn't be any trees up here anyways. Okay, so there you go. You want to just break out those trees. And actually, we're going to break out all these ones right here. Right, so the ground over here. What we're going to do, you should have this shape going on right here. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to break this block uh, and these two blocks and this one right there. We're going to knock out this one right here. Break these three, these two, and that one. So that one's a smooth row right there. Then we're going to knock out this row right here. And then we're going to knock out these two. And then this one's going to be one, two, three, four right here. So this starts getting into actual, uh, the actual Tommy base. After these four, we're going to place one right there. And that's we're going to leave it like that for now. So we have a spot for the fences. So uh, directly across the path from this. Because there used to be like a fences here and a gate. But that's not there anymore. Uh, on the other side, we're going to place a fence here. Here. Up one. Back one. And break everything on top of that fence right there. And next to it. And next to it on either side. Then we're going to place another one up. Another one back, break everything on top of it and to the side. Then we're going to place one next to it. So this fence right here is going to be a total of nine long, but we actually need to dig out a little bit of ground here that's in the way. So this is the highest layer of Tommy's house that I'm standing on right now. So what we can do is we can knock out all of these blocks next to it. Next, we're going to go ahead and break out these three right here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and break the ones on top of that. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, we're going to leave everything on that side of the hill, even though a lot of this gets dug out. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to break out these three and this one. Just be very careful, which break out the exact ones that I'm breaking out. If you need to, you can always go back in the video to make sure you're breaking the right ones. I'm going to break out these, this full row, and then this full row back here. Then the next full row right here, knock out all of that. This row right here, we're going to knock out all of these, leave this one block down here, then we're going to break out the next two full rows like this. Then we're going to leave uh, this one piece of stone, break everything on top of it, and leave this one piece of grass, break everything on top of it, and break out these two right here. Next row, we're going to leave these two pieces of grass right here, break everything on top of it, leave this one piece of stone, break everything on top of it, leave this one piece. This piece of stone actually is going to be replaced with regular grass, break everything on top of it, break everything on top of this stone, and everything on top of this grass leave just like that okay we got like one more row to go here we're gonna leave this piece of grass this piece of grass this piece of stone break it and then actually leave another uh, layer up of grass right there again another piece of grass directly next to it and the next row will be even higher with grass and then break that one and that one and that'll smooth into the hill and we can actually break out these two right here there we go so a little bit more of this is going to get dug out but that's good for now after this one we're going to place a fence up break this one and put it next to it and then we actually need to go two more fences back so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna break out just what i need to put one here and again to put one right here now in between this row i can break out these two columns right here and just make them flat with the same row here and we're actually gonna replace these two right here with grass just like that and then these two blocks right here we're gonna just leave up like that break everything on top of it and we're actually gonna knock out this one right here and leave a block there now these two right here is a row of five grass this is one two three four five and we can break everything above these blocks and then we're gonna stack up one more and break out this one right here so it makes a little staircase and now trim out everything in front of this that you see we don't need any of this land sorry chicken this is your unlucky day this one block right here is gonna be a row of 11s so this is one two three four five is underneath the fence six seven eight nine ten eleven right here and replace that one with stone now what we can do is break out everything in front of this here now this block right here is going to be a row of eights this is one two three fours underneath the fence five six seven eight and then the ninth one we're going to actually break out break out the block in front of it and actually break out all of the blocks leading up to the fence right there so this one fence is actually floating replace this one with stone break out uh, two by two in front of this the two blocks here and two blocks here and replace this one with dirt Last little detail, we're going to put a torch on top of that and a torch on top of this piece of stone right there. Next up, where we have this one little indent that this block right here should be a row of three. So that's one, two, three. Break everything on top of it and everything in front of it like that. We're we'll actually knock out a two by three right here. So we have these three blocks and then underneath that we want three more blocks like this. On the next row, we're going to knock out this one right here and we're going to knock out these three blocks right here and put a torch in that spot and we can actually place a grass block right there and knock out this birch tree this birch tree actually had been here for a really long time but it's finally gone as you can see i got rid of a few of the trees that were in my way right here last thing we're gonna do we're gonna knock a hole right there and add a torch to that one spot great now we can grab our fences and there's a big gap missing of fences but we can put our first fence right here in this spot put one more next to it and then down one over one and then down one two three four and then down one and then over one down two, over one, down one, over one, 
down one. And now here's where things change a little bit. We're actually going to go over one to the right now and down one. Break out this grass block and these two grass blocks. And then these two right here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six right there. Now we're actually going to need a little bit of cobblestone right here. So I'm actually going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cobblestone. And right here, we're going to place two more fences, a cobblestone, and then eight more fences. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And actually add two more pieces of cobblestone underneath that. Next to this, we're going to place three more fences behind this to make this a total of four long right here. And then we're going to add a fence uh, back one or in front of us and then to the side one. And then up one and over one again. And this is pretty much underneath the, the path which leads to uh, Laman. Now right here, I'm actually going to place grass underneath these blocks right here. Another one underneath this. And then one right here. And then actually a grass block here, here, and there. And now this row we can actually fill in all the way. Extend the land a little bit. Now there's actually a huge gap between there and there. So we're actually going to fly back over here and come from this edge again and connect it back up. So on this side we can break out this one grass block right here. There's also a torch in that one spot on the path if you want it. So we're going to do two fences this way. One back, one over, and then one back again. Knock out a 2x2 two two of land here. Go down one with the fence. Go over one. Add two next to it. Over one. Two next to it. Break out these two. Add one next to it. And then up one. Uh, before we go any further, I'm going to actually break out uh, some of the trees in this spot as well. Uh, a quick thing of terrain. We have these two blocks, uh, two grass blocks down here. And we're going to actually extend it to make that a total of four. And we're going to go diagonal one and diagonal one again. So it touches that. And then we can fill in these two blocks down here. And uh, this little L shape in the ground right there. Over here, we're going to fill in this shape with grass. In the middle of Tommy's property, we can break out this flower and fill in this spot with grass and these three blocks of grass so this one fence right here is going to be a total of eight long so it's one two three four five six seven eight and you should see it fits up perfectly with the ground and now one thing we need to do right here there's going to be a fence going this way so this is also a total of eight so that's one two three four five six seven eight right there so what we can do is this this ground right here we have this this grass block right here that i'm looking at and then this one right here we're going to knock out this one and then just dig out a straight line all the way until we hit the other edge of this right there and now all of this ground on this layer we are going to get rid of so you can destroy all of this land on these two layers uh within our boundary here of the fence just get rid of all of this land we don't need it it should look like this okay perfect behind this we're going to go back one and this is a total of four so that's one two three four then we're going to go over here and we're going to place two right here then go up one break out these two over two up one this is a total of five so it's one two three four five another thing we can flatten is all of the grass on this layer we can get rid of and we can also get rid of the tree right here so just get rid of all this perfect then we're gonna go back one and over two then this fence right here is, a to is one of six that's one two three four five six over the ground and we're gonna place one next to it now what we're gonna do we're actually gonna place grass uh underneath these ones right here and then these two spots right here and a quick bit of terrain right here. We're actually going to knock out the three blocks right here. Uh, these three and these four right here. Then we can knock out these three blocks right here. These three and these two. Then we're going to knock out one. Uh, then we're going to knock out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven right here. And then we're actually going to knock out these four right here. Leaving this block. Place a block underneath that one. Fill in these two spots right here. And a block down there because as you can see that the ground is sort of like hollow underneath here i don't know it's weird to explain then we're gonna knock out a two by three of ground right here fill in these two spots knock out these two and these two fill in that gap down there knock out this one place a grass block here knock out two right there knock out two right there this one and a hole in there and that's pretty much what that looks like so this spot is actually quite interesting because in this spot right here, there's actually a tree. There's a birch tree that wasn't part of the original seed that has been grown right here. So if you can try, you can do this, but you might have to break away some of your fences. Oh, there we go. I got my tree to grow. And the log should be one, two, three, four, and then you have leaves that go right here. So then I'm actually going to put my fence back so it connects to this tree right here. So if you need to break it a few times, make sure the tree's the right height. Or you can actually just build it yourself naturally. Uh, but there you go. There's the tree that goes right here. Really random. I'm actually going to break out the, the oak tree right here and this one next to it as well that's in the way. Perfect. Now, on the other side, we are going to add five more fences. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to place five pieces of grass underneath all of this. Now, we need to go over a total of 14. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14. And it should line up with that spot right there. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to place grass underneath all of these fences right here and fill in this gap right here. Perfect. I'm actually going to get rid of the oak tree on top of this little floating island right here. And what we can do is we can sort of follow this line right here. So we're going to go one back, two over, one back, two over, one back, one over. And this should be a total of eight. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to break out this one and go down one, break out this one right here and break out all the blocks in front of this one like that add two blocks here knock out these two and this one right here now what we can do is break out one two three blocks here and then go down to these two and these two right here and add just two fences sticking up right there very random i know and we can break out this two by four of ground right there and for now, that's it. There's going to be more of like a natural uh, slope going on right here that will terraform, add the fountain and all of the other builds that go around this area. But for now, I want to focus on Tommy's house. So now you at least have the perimeter of Tommy's base done. Just a fair warning. If you thought you were done with all the grass and terraforming, you are very wrong because that's pretty much all Tommy's house is. So right here, we need to actually branch off and make the path leading off to Lamanberg. And then what we can do is we can add one, two, three, four grass blocks right here and then one two three and this is the slab that breaks off in this direction now this path right here we're going to make a total of 26 long so this is one two three four five six three twenty four twenty five twenty six long right here and we need to make it three wide and you can see it's going to budge up right against these fences right here next up we're going to get out some cobblestone and cobblestone slab we're going to go back to the front and we're going to go to the 13th spot one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13th. So this is the 13th one right here and underneath this we're gonna place a grass block and then two cobblestone right here so make sure this is the 13th one right here and then what we can do is we can add two grass blocks there and there now what we can do in this spot we can start our fun little pattern we're actually gonna go two half slabs cobblestone two half slabs cobblestone two half slabs cobblestone two half slabs cobblestone one half slab and then a piece of cobblestone then what we can do we can do two half slabs two pieces of cobblestone and then a half slab right here. And we're going to stop it there for now. Now the prime path, we're going to go up uh, once here. And then we're going to go up again and make this one to two blocks wide. And then one up here again, one up here again. And that's as far as we're going to go. So we need to actually do this pattern on the other side as well. So we're going to place two cobblestone right there. And then two half slabs, cobblestone, two half slabs, cobblestone, two half slabs, cobblestone, two half slabs, cobblestone, one half slab, one piece of cobblestone, two half slabs, two pieces of cobblestone, and two half slabs, just like that. There's a torch in the middle block of the first piece of cobblestone and then also when you're looking at it go to the one two the third like major piece of cobblestone and then one to the right right there is a torch all right so for tommy's actual house we're going to go into this corner spire here and we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven blocks right here the next row we're going to start from over here we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you can break actually all of these um flowers we don't need any of these or that grass now this block right here we're actually going to extend all the way back until we hit ground and then we can fill in this entire row of ground right here now where we had this right here this block right here we're actually going to extend all the way across and fill in these spots right here we're going to get a torch put a torch uh in this diagonal spot right here and then actually can add two pieces of grass underneath the prime path right there so back over here, we had this one grass block right here. We dug in this spot right here. We're going to leave one, two, three, four right here. Place two pieces of grass right there, one diagonal and another diagonal right there. And then add one grass block in that spot and then fill in these three right there. So this is the ground uh, by the wheat farm. Now for the path leading to Tommy's house, we're going to go back to the spot. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five on the sixth and seventh block right here. We're going to uh, till the ground. We need to make this path eight blocks long. So this is one two three four five six seven eight and that is the length of the path to make this easier i'm going to go ahead and place the two oak doors right there and now what we're going to do we're going to make a backwards l shape on this side of the door we can do one on this side of the door as well and on the right side add an extra one in two blocks like that this house is not symmetrical at all this side right here we want this block another diagonal another diagonal and break out this one right here I forgot to mention the prime path changed a little bit in this one spot. So we want one, two, three, four, five. And then we want to add uh, two more rows right here. So make this a little three by three of solid oak planks right here. So that's a little change to the path. In this spot back here, we're going to add a torch to that one block right there. All right, stick with me here. We're going to kind of go row by row with the house right here. Uh, so on this block right here, we're going to place one. And uh, don't worry about what's on the inside. We'll carve out. We, we need to later. Diagonal again diagonal again and this one's going to be a total of two long no three long actually and then diagonal again and one more right there next row we're going to place one 
here, this is a total of two long, and then diagonal one, diagonal again, make this a total of two wide, diagonal again, make this a total of two long, and diagonal again, right there. Next row, we have these two blocks indented, then we have these two blocks, then we have one, two, three, diagonal one, diagonal one, two, and then diagonal again, and then actually extend this one an extra block and make this a total of three blocks long here. And now actually fill in everything behind this and this one gap right there. And that is what this side of Tommy's house looks like. This side is pretty easy. We have this one block next to the door. We're going to add an extra one and this one, this one, and that one. So that's this row done. Next row, we're actually going to, let's start from over here again. Uh, we'll do a diagonal right here and then two blocks right there, one on top of this one. Then the last row, we have this block right here. Now we added the four blocks, uh, so it's a total of four. And then we'll add one back here, one here, and then one over next to it. Fill in that block right there. Now the top row of the house, we have this row going across. And what we need to do is we need to add two more blocks next to it. And then add uh, one in front of that. So this is one, two, three. And then fill in everything behind it. Then we're going to leave these two and then add one, two, three. And then leave another one behind that. And then this one right here, add two more blocks next to it. And that, there we go. And just like that, we have the exterior of Tommy's house, at least the basic grass done without any of the detail. There's one torch on Tommy's house, and it goes right there. Now that we have the front of the house done, next step, we're going to get out some smooth stone and grass, and we're going to go back to the back of the house. We're going to place a torch in this spot right here, and this spot right here. We're going to get out some smooth stone, and there's sort of like this room we have to build out of smooth stone. You'll see. So we'll add a grass block here, two pieces of smooth stone, knock out this one, three pieces of smooth stone, and one right here. Then we're going to add one... Add one more, one on top of it, and one to the side, down, add one underneath it, and to the right. Up here, we're going to add three in this spot right here, knock out this one, and this one, put two pieces of stone, knock out this one, and this one right here. Now, this ground, we have this block here, and we're going to go diagonal one, and this would be a total of three, one, two, three, and knock out everything in front of that. And then there's these two spots right here, so that's good, and we can knock out these two right here, these two right here, one, two, three down here, and one right there, and a hole right there under here we're gonna place one right there and then we're actually gonna go back uh back two right here and four over and then two in that spot and that's pretty much gonna do it for that weird thing i'm gonna go ahead and do the interior in this video in the second video we'll add all the flowers to the outside the wheat farm and all the the rest of this to make it look good but we're gonna focus on the inside now there's currently a sign on top of tommy in its house and it says tommy in it abode just like this all lowercase First line, Tommy in it. Second line, abode. And that's literally it. This step is going to require a lot of digging. So, we're going to get our handy dandy grass out and start digging. So, we're going to knock out these two blocks and all of these. Uh, don't don't worry about digging out too much. A lot of this is uh, dug out anyways. Uh, so, we're going to look back around to this door and actually fill in a few blocks right here. Um, and we're going to knock out these two and these ones right here. It's kind of hard to explain what's going on here. But I'm basically going to dig out a little bit of the room and then you'll see. Uh, so right now what happened is I, I added an extra row of dirt after the doors like this. So it's two blocks uh, into the entranceway. And then I have a little 3 by 4 room dugout that's three blocks tall. Next thing we're going to do on this... Actually, we're going to make the room uh, two blocks deeper. So make the whole thing two blocks deeper like this. Looking on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this row right here. And knock out this row uh, for two blocks deep all right here. And you shouldn't... You shouldn't hit sunlight if you hit sunlight you know you've done something wrong so we can fill in this spot right here so right here we're actually going to fill in a little bit we're going to place a block here two blocks right there and make sure to go ahead and replace your whole grass uh sorry your whole floor with grass ceiling right here there's a little bit of an interesting shape going on so what we need to do is in front of the door we're going to leave this row of blocks right here we're gonna knock out these two uh and then we're going to leave this one right here knock out these two and then these two right here make this a total of one two three four long knock out this one back here and then these three right here. Oops, sorry, not that one. This one, see? That's how you know you've done it wrong. You hit the sky. Go ahead and start placing in some of the furniture. So we're going to do a crafting table right there. Inner chest next to it. Stone cutter on top of it. Smithing table in that corner. Then we're going to get our smokers. Two smokers. Two blast furnace. Two regular furnaces. And then two double chests. But before I do the double chest, let me actually replace that wall behind there uh, with dirt. So it looks good. And our two double chests right there. Ceiling here, we're actually going to knock this one back out and put one right there. Get two torches, put a torch there and there. And there's a sign in front of these furnaces at a 45 degree angle. And they say, don't take anything from me unless Ninja. Okay, continuing on here, we're going to look back at this side of the room and continue digging out. So we have this row right here. We're going to leave this row. Knock out uh, three here, three here, three here. And next to the chest, place the ground with grass, of course. Knock out this one right here. Leave this grass block here. Place one back right there. Then we can knock out this, this, and this, and also a uh, 2x3 by the chest. Place the floor, 
we're gonna place an oak plank in the ground in that one spot right there and uh, we're actually gonna leave it like this we're gonna knock out these two right here one over and then down like that there's a torch in this spot right here we actually knock out this one right here and this one right there and then we can actually place one more right there in the ceiling next we're going to knock out these two right here and a third one right there then these two right here leave that one as grass now by the chest we need a, a few rows of dirt right here so we're actually gonna replace this one with dirt and knock out this one make this one dirt and then knock out this one and these ones make these ones dirt and then actually knock out a two by three right here place this one as dirt and this is actually the doorway leading into the back room right here Make these three dirt and one next to it. And there's actually another doorway right here leading to the hotbox room. Replace the whole ceiling with dirt, of course. Now, in this spot right here, we can actually knock out this row. Make this one grass right here. Replace this with dirt. Then in the ceiling, we can knock out these three. And knock out that one right there. Replace this one with dirt. And actually break that block right there. And make this one grass again. Just so it has the little grass pattern underneath it and doesn't turn to dirt. The same with this one. Or knock out this one. Just that that one is grass right there. Of course, of course, you have to replace your whole floor. With grass and that's pretty much tommy's main room done right here next thing on the list we're going to build the remains of the hot box room if you remember that from that one random stream we're actually going to replace the floor here with gravel knock out a block make this grass knock out the next block make this one gravel knock out the next block make this one grass knock out the next two blocks and make these both netherrack in the floor i swear this will all make sense next we want to replace these two with grass right here and knock out these two make cobblestone on the top half these next row dirt and the next row dirt on the bottom half and then break out these three right here in the ceiling make this one dirt and then break out the rest of this row so it's three blocks tall in here and then break out these three pieces of stone in this room we're going to knock out this one right here and these two and you should have an exposed coal right there if you've done everything correctly if not you can place coal right there uh in this spot right here we're actually going to knock out uh two more in this direction uh for a total of five blocks so that the whole room is uh much bigger then we can do is uh, add two more pieces of nether right there and there to complete the hot box replace the rest of the floor with grass in here and then get a piece of cobblestone put cobblestone right there in the ceiling here knock out one two three four right there leave these two knock out these two there's actually a spruce log sideways in the floor right there next we're gonna dig out a little l shape in the floor right there and then add two pieces of dirt there and one more piece of dirt right there replace this one with dirt Knock out this one, replace that one with dirt, and add a torch in that spot right there. And there you go, there's your hot box room all done, or at least what remains. Because I think this whole thing was filled in with spruce logs and then it burned, of course. Right, if you thought that was the weird part, you were wrong. Let's go ahead and do this room. Let's go ahead and replace the two blocks next to this and this one with dirt right here. We're going to place a door right here, a spruce door that opens up to the left. Open up the door, and then in the floor here, we're going to get our smooth stone. And we're going to break one, two, three, four, and replace all four of these with smooth stone down here. Get out your chiseled stone bricks. Break out a fifth one, make the floor here chiseled stone bricks, and then uh, when you're looking in this weird hallway, we're going to look over to the left and break out all the blocks next to this. Replace the whole floor here with chiseled. We're going to put a chiseled in the wall right there, and then a cobblestone right there, and then uh, dirt right there. Make this room a total of four blocks tall, so this is one, two, three, four. So take out the whole room so it's the proper height, like this. Next, we're going to get chiseled stone bricks and go one, two, three, four, and make a four by three of chiseled stone bricks in the wall right here. And knock out the four blocks right here, the three blocks down here, and three blocks down here. Replace this one with dirt, knock out these two blocks. And right here is actually the, the tunnel that goes down to Tommy's, uh, the poo machine sewer system. But currently it's covered up in this house. So looking back over here, we can actually get uh, smooth stone. Replace this one with smooth stone right here. Knock out these two and make these ones dirt right there. Replace this one and make it dirt. This one, make it smooth stone. Knock out this one right here and add another grass block down there. Knock out this one. And actually, if we come down here, we can uh, replace this whole row and get rid of, just mine out all of the coal down here. There should be no coal, and that pretty much finishes the room for you. If you just get rid of all the coal, and that's kind of what it looks back there. Looks like back there. Okay, over here, he kind of recreated part of the hot dog van before his final battle, and there's like this barrel room, and it's kind of also built into the smooth stone room, so there's like a, like a lot going on here. Basically, what we're going to do is one, two, three, four, five, these blocks right here, and make it a total of four blocks tall. Like this, we're actually gonna. This is row one. We're gonna extend this and make this like we're gonna. This is row one. We're gonna extend it for a total of seven times. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and make it four blocks tall, like this. And it's also one, two, three, four, five wide. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So dig out a big room right here, and you should have something like this. Now what we're gonna do. We're gonna dig out uh, these three blocks right here, leaving the top row as it is. Right here, we're actually gonna place a cobblestone right there. Break out this one cobblestone down in the ground get out your smooth stone again place two smooth stone right there knock out these two two smooth stone right there a redstone torch in the ground right there knock out these three 
knock out these two, these two, these two, make these smooth stone, knock out those two, knock out the two in the ground right here, and actually this third one, make all three of these smooth stone, add a powered rail next to that one, and two rails right there, and this actually leads off to the holiday home. Next, what we can do is leave these two pieces of stone right here, and then knock out these two, and then make this a little two by three down here, and then knock out uh, everything on top of that, so it's this shape, and then place a two by three of barrels, there's like this weird barrel room, dude, I don't know it. Yeah, sorry, I really don't know what's going on here. But basically, two by two, and then make barrels going along the edges. Knock out these ones and make this uh, a two by three of barrels going along this way. And then we want a two by three of barrels going along this way, and actually an extra barrel in that spot. Next, we're going to get some more smooth stone out. Knock out these three and place replace them with smooth stone down there. Knock out these two, make them smooth stone on this layer. Now all that's left to do is create the hot dog van in this spot. So we're going to get out some oak planks and place one, two, three, four oak planks right here. And make this a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven right here. And then fill in this whole floor with oak planks in this spot. We're going to get a crafting table. We're going to get a crafting table out, put a crafting table right there. In this spot, we're going to leave these two oak planks. And then on this third one, we're going to place a stone here with one, two, three upside down slabs, and then uh, one more stone right here, and then two brewing stands in these two spots right here. Uh, in this one spot with the barrel, we actually want to put one piece of smooth stone right there. We need to replace a little bit of the stone we broke out. We need to do one, two, three, four stone to dig out this room like that. If you see the coal on the ceiling, basically we're just going to dig out all of the coal that's in the ceiling, and if you don't have coal, just sort of see where I'm digging out and dig all of that out, just like that, and that makes the shape in the ceiling. Last thing to do, we can actually dig out one more row right here, uh, just a 3 by 4 right there. Replace all of this coal with smooth stone right here, and right here, knock out these two, knock out these two, and then actually replace that one with cobblestone right there. And you'll see there's a little bit of cobblestone down there, and that's because there's a mob spawner down there, and we'll deal with that in a second. So, this actually needs to be one block wider, so in this spot, we're going to knock out uh, a 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, a 3 by 6 of stone right there, and you'll see you're going to break into your hotbox room, which is A-OK. -okay. Now we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of these with oak planks right here. Build an identical table across from this, 3 blocks a gap between them, so build an identical table with 2 brewing stands on them in either spot, just like that. We're going to knock out this one right here, leave this coal right here, and knock out uh, a little L shape right there, and one down right there, and you're in the mob spawner. You can go ahead and break this out. Take everything out of the chest, uh, because we don't need any of that, and this is where the original cat disc comes from. Or no, this isn't where the original one comes from, but it's a cat disc. Then you can just put some torches in here to mob-proof it. And there's that There's that room, we're not going to mess with that too much, there's actually a torch right there if you want that. And that pretty much finishes off this really chaotic and ugly looking room. So that concludes everything we're going to do in part 1. In the second part, we'll do all of the small builds right here, the power tower, we'll do the fountain, ninja's house, the wheat farm, the flower details, there's a little tree right there we gotta add connect the path up. I don't know if we'll do Carl Jacob's house. I think actually we'll do Wilbur's ball in Carl's house in the video. Anyways, I'm done talking. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I will see you in part two of Tommy's house. When it comes out, it'll be linked on the card right now. Thank you for the support on the channel. We're getting close to 40k, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and goodbye!